Shalom everyone, I hope that you are doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a, another daily reading. I like to get on here with you all face to face. I just did one on my other channel, so I always like to uh, share them um, with both channels uh, as I'm doing them. So I'll put that down below if you did not catch it in the uh, community section. So happy birthday, happy anniversary, as I always say. And if you are down and out, I send you love and life. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. And if, if you're not returning and you found this channel some way, somehow, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. Welcome. My channel is just very intense. You'll learn me as we go. I do use scripture and uh, we look at all kinds of stuff, moral law, criminal activity. You will hear information that could be very disturbing, but we uproot the, the, the stuff that's coming out, okay? And you need to know what's around you or around your children or uh, what could be some type of a situation that your intuition has been going off about and some come out about it and you know what to do and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, my channel is just very intense at times, so it won't be for everyone. So if you stay, great. If you don't, then that's fine too. Thanks for checking me out. Let's get started here. Jehovah, I just thank you for clear to find messages. Jehovah, rebuke and bind and block every foul, demonic, wicked, dark energy. We just take authority in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. We just thank you for clear messages that will bring strength. So waiting and waiting and waiting. And I always say it with this card, those who wait upon you, Jehovah, shall not be ashamed. They shall not be ashamed. And so there's been waiting and some people have been waiting and sighing and uh, stuff like that within some type of situations. It's been hard waiting for some people. Uh, some people have been waiting for a long time. So we have waiting at the base of what we're talking about here that is um, showing up here. So... You just cut this deck for me. All right, so we have consolation. This is an entitlement card. Somebody knows that they've been waiting on something that's absolutely theirs. Should be theirs. Shouldn't have ever had to make you know some type of stupidness to make somebody you know have to say you know please give me for what's mine somebody's entitled to something here and they've been waiting on it um in the now there is the pleasure seeker card this card talks about um there could be three people involved in the situation it could be siblings could be friends could be co-workers but this card talks about taking a risk or getting up and doing something and it actually ends up really good all right, the top of the mind is known about communication or some type of a letter. Somebody is entitled to something. The outcome is beautiful energy. It'd be like the empress type of energy. Um, this also talks about somebody who's desiring to be a mother, desiring to be a wife. Okay, let's go back another round. There has been melancholy here on this waiting. Okay, um, we have doctor issues for some people. And um, whatever's happened with that energy, it's caused somebody to be entitled to something regardless whatever's taken place. Still, somebody's entitled to something. Okay? If somebody's been dealing with doctor issues around situation, that's what's showing. So, we do have somebody that's uh, in the now that, you know, if there's a doctor issue here and somebody's been involved in some type of stupidness that they're having to really just ask the divine, please just help something because you are dealing with somebody who's crazy and there's third parties around situations and I'm going to read it that way. It's also sicknesses, okay? If you're not dealing with somebody who's mental, this is the mental card, but also can represent just physical illness as well. And some of y'all are dealing with that since the doctor is here. It's also known about weddings, okay? Um, we got somebody who, here in the outcome who's desiring to be, you know, a wife or is a wife or if we're going to read that as an empress, that could be legal stuff as well. Maybe with your children, with your mother, whatever that is. So we have a merchant here, somebody who is, is if this is legal stuff here for some people because you're dealing with a crazy party, um, then somebody's very cunning. There, there, there's law then here for that. This card, though, if we're talking about cunning in the upright, this could be um, somebody who's just very wise as well because the Empress would represent somebody who's got all four queens within her. Let's go another round. So the side card, it has been hard. This waiting has been hard here on somebody. You got that right. Death issues around some 
situations have uh, taken off. So again, some people are, are waiting on what's rightfully theirs or inheritances or some type of uh, money is here with the 8th house. So it's just a death card. FBI energies as well. So some type of investigation is around some type of a situation. Then there's, there's just a hardcore energy here with the... Um, with somebody who who could who have also could have went crazy because of, of a death as well or has just really been down and out as well um we have wisdom here if we have a grandparent or an older person that'd be like the uh hermit card in this deck um which is somebody's got a lot of wisdom to go with it and calculate something because something has possibly been crazy for some people because it's just been hard down here we have the sweetheart card coming out it's known about communication uh it's known about wedding situations it also might be known about three people that somebody might be married to and that's why there's a there's a kook for some of you all that is the case because we've seen that coming out there's three feminines down here there's also three uh masculines here if you're dealing with the older person that's a kook and was a um um bigamous than you than you are because here's the wedding and there's three people there as well i just did a reading also in congress was there as well that picture kind of looks like governmental things going on so there is going to be a message in the outcome here about some, something that's been cunning for some of you all or something that is going to be given that is rightfully yours. Somebody getting up, they have wisdom on some situations happen, whatever this is. At the bottom of the deck, we have the haughtiness card. It's a tower in this deck. Okay, we see the tower a couple times today. And uh, you'll have his word says that I hate a haughty look and my eyes are on it to bring it down. Okay, somebody been haughty because there's a kook here and a fluke and something's taking place with the death, then that's here. And we do know that to be the case. Let's go another round with another deck. Something about a grandparent is here. You hope you just... If somebody was... Obviously, somebody is haughty here is holding somebody up because of some stupid thing that took place back here because somebody had some type of mental situation around a death issue okay it caused some type of a war i guess because the haughtiness goes back to war energy sitting in the room needing to open up um the falsity card is here and the dog but we got we had a pet store that just came out <laughs> And we've been seeing the dogs, that's a, so we've got animals showing up here. We've got a bird and a cat and a dog showing up here, okay? We've got somebody who's been freaking hostile because you do have some type of a freak for some of you all around some type of stupid situation at a third party, okay? All right. And um, some type of judgment. This would go back to a judgment as well with the hermit. Uh, let's go another round, Yehova. You just cut these... Uh, cards for me you know all things and nothing's too difficult for you bottom line somebody's entitled to something and you can't hold up what's entitled to somebody so we have somebody who's just been holding 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 on holding on holding on this is you know waiting 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 trying to secure something you know well it is we have the King of Swords, probably a Libra, just by right. I'm not picking on Libra, but you always really been bringing it out here. Uh, it could be a Scorpio that has a Libra also in, in the chart as well. And anyway, that could represent the law, being around something, or a doctor is here uh, around some type of a death or transformative situation or some type of money is here, okay? Uh, we have work situations going on and uh, working on something. Okay, with wisdom, okay, getting out of the crazy mode for some people. The tower is really here. At the top of the uh, the mind is something about, somebody sees something, somebody knows about a destruction, there's sexual situations that's gone on as well. And I mean, we got a sweetheart here. Somebody had, you know, again, we're talking to the group that's got more than one spouse, something's known about something here with that energy. Um, the, the, 
the Knight of Pentacles just really wants to come out lately as well. Something's finally going to arrive that's been taking a long freaking time, okay? And um, th there will be a message. And this is something finally coming to an end as well. And there's, there's loyalty situations there. A defeat on Jezebel. Okay, some type of controlling freak has been here. We got soulmates, three part, third parties, gossipy stuff as well. And, uh, you know, this is looking up and facing the truth about something. So if you're dealing with somebody who's you know, dealing with back situations, and you are, there, there's doctors here, somebody resting after a broken freaking heart, that's also a death energy, um, real swift communication will be, can we see it right here, the outcome will be a communication, and there is a defeat somewhere, and that's positive, because we want that Jezebel down, that's somebody who just can't give it up, somebody's very haughty within some stupidness, and really just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I'm haughty, because I'm whatever, that has been because there's been a death around some type of stupid situation. It's known about top of the mind. Somebody's they had some type of a destruction that took place, maybe with the sweetheart, okay, or whatever around some somebody's wedding. Um, the communication about it is here. The letters, the postal mail, whatever this is. The document itself, somebody is entitled to. Um, some somebody has been resistance resistant to change and unable to move forward that's why it's not at the top of the mind boom there will be a destruction destruction straight from the divine again Yolva says i like to keep my eye on the hottie to bring it down okay so if you can't make a decision Yolva will make a decision in favor of the truth truth is setting somebody free here at the top of the mind uh, no weapon formed against you shall prosper in every tongue that rises up against you. You shall condemn it, saith Jehovah. He states that they surely would gather together, but they would not be able to perform whatever they've been holding up, holding up. I'm going to hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Make you be pushed in a corner. I don't think so. Jehovah's going to knock your pride down because you're crazy. You're, you're, shows it right there. The rodeo energy here. So we do have animals. Some people just act in like animals and freaks and kooks and geeks and everything else. And somebody says, I pray for you all the time that uh, Jehovah would bring salvation. There's somebody here who just likes to start crap. Again, uh, we got just somebody who just likes to start crap. We've got a haughty person here. we got somebody that is, is controlling. No, I will control you. No, you will do it my way. I will lock you up. I will lock you up. And that's stupidness. Nobody wants that person around. Let that person be knocked to the ground. Let everybody see and let them just be whatever. Uh, just listen to your gut and do what you know that you need to do. Okay? Fix the problem that came out today. There's also new clothes. Somebody does need to fix uh, some situation because they got filthy garments on. Um, love at all times and guard your heart because issues flow out of it. We had yellow energy come out today that we addressed as well. And yellow goes to an issue in the Hebrew. Uh, burn and brimstone and uh, the rock of sulfur energy is here. We also have the gopher wood that was used for the ark. Okay, so again, look people, this, this hardship down here, going through the fire and going through a flood, you will not drown. You, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You will not even smell like smoke when you go through something, okay? This burning stuff, the wicked get to go burn for what they do. This Jezebel is going to burn for all her stupidness. This strangling energy is, there, there's a death here. We also have a skull here, and sometimes we'll have somebody who uh, likes skulls or something. So if that's prevalent for you, then it is, okay? You'll hold this leading something here, and so you just need to stay in peace, and something hidden is going to come to the light today. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, as Jehovah leads me um, on these readings, then uh, he'll bring it to the light, whatever we need. Let me take one of these um, cards here for just a message. What else you want to bring out here? Hold up. What's the most important thing that you want to say about the outcome? Okay, there's two. That's something is so we see the King of Cups 
and this Ten of Swords in the reading that I just did. And the King of Cups was in one of the general readings that I did this morning. And uh, so the Ten of Swords, something is over. Something is over. Um, somebody has an addiction here. Well, we deal with the crazy kook for some of you all are. Okay? So somebody's real haughty. It's known that somebody's haughty. It's known that they've, they've done a destructive thing. It's just known about it. Some type of uh, um, real intelligent person is here, but the Ten of Swords is an ending to something that's been very backstabbing, okay? Or you are dealing with somebody who's dealing with uh, back issues because I brought that out. Um, and, it, and I s spoke on the reading that I just did on the other channel that in one of my other readings that we did, we had the DHTH, which came out in the runes, and that is actually the spine energy as well. So if you are dealing with somebody that's got spinal issues or something that's gone on with that, then there's an ending of a difficult situation, and uh, it's time to embrace the change. Again, you're always leading this. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Somebody's already been going through a hard waiting on something and uh, with King Cups and Jehovah's highest vibration is love and we know that the scripture says it's, it's the wicked that gets uh, taken out of the earth and so if this King of Cups is in the negative then I guess some, something's going to be backstabbing to that person okay because the, the wicked again get shaken out of the earth and the righteous remain in it and Jehovah's word's not going to return void we've got a defeat here on Jezebel okay and so whoever the haughty little hussy is that person's out okay or male or female it really doesn't matter we do have love here and somebody you know uh, intelligent enough to come and speak something something's finally arriving and this is this is a positive card the the um, knight of pentacles is the knight that we want in the deck so something finally arriving and ending us and it's very lovely lovely energy with the King Cups coming out here. And so the person who likes to start the crap, well, you're getting a tower on you. And that's just that. Until next time, Shalom.